Welcome. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be talking about a quick summary of some of the basic terms that I've gone into more detail in previous videos. So if there's a term that I cover in this video and you think that you didn't understand it fully, make sure you go back to a previous video so you can see it uh, discussed in more depth. So we talked about these basic terms in this unit. So we talked about raw data and data. And if you remember, we talked about how raw data is kind of gobbledygook. Raw, just like you would use it in everyday life, hasn't been processed in any way. So then you use that raw data and you clean it up and you get into an actual data set. The data set that you use, you want to be as clean as possible for analysis purposes. And when you create a data set, we talked about how you would have variables, individuals, and observations. So remember that the variables are going to be represented in the columns, and those are going to be the pieces of information that you want. Individuals would be represented in the rows, and then a single row we called an observation. And that whole row would be dedicated to one unique individual or field or tree, whatever it is. But an observation is a row, the individuals are represented in all of the rows, and the variables are going to be represented in the columns. And then we talked about the census versus sampling. So a census is when you take an entire group of interests. We have that population shown below. Remember, those are kind of tied together. A population is the all, whole, entire group. And a census, then, is going to be collecting information on that all, whole, entire group. So a census, by definition, has to have every individual in the population. And then we talked about how that was difficult. And so usually you take a sample. And the way that you get a sample is by using some sampling method. So a sample is a subset of that larger population. If you collect data on those two groups, you might have taken a census to get the entire population, or you've done some sampling method to get a sample. And then we talked about, too, how there are uh, numeric summaries for those groups. We have statistics and we have parameters. Do you remember how they go together? So remember that the P's go together, so populations have parameters referencing them, or parameters are going to be numeric summaries for a population. And then remember that the S's go together, so a statistic is going to be a numeric summary for a sample. That's how we can remember which numeric summary goes with which group. The P's go together and the S's go together. And then we talked about how there are some um, analysis that we can do when we collect data. We can calculate descriptive summaries, and those can be either numeric or graphical displays, and those are direct statements about a group. You're describing the group. And then we talked about how you can use des descriptive statistics to actually make inferences on a population. So a descriptive statistic is a direct statement. An inferential statement might be a little bit looser and giving yourself room for error because you're using a small group to talk about a large group. And then finally, we talked about the difference between categorical and quantitative data. And remember, those are different types of variables. So those are pieces of information that you would want from individuals. Categorical, we talked about how the root of that is a category. And so categorical data is going to put individuals into different groups or categories. Whereas quantitative data at its root is quantity. And so that is going to be collecting data that is a, a meaningful number that can have units connected to it. You can have differences calculated or means calculated for it. And we talked about how those are umbrella terms uh, for different types of variables. We have categorical or quantitative, but within those, there are more descriptions of what type of categorical data it could be and what type of quantitative data it can be. So that's a summary of what we've talked about in these first few videos. I look forward to seeing you when we start new videos and a new series coming up soon.